Hello, my Taurus. Thank you for coming to watch my video. This is your reading for October. What does my Taurus people need to know for October? October reading for my Taurus. for October. Alright, I see you guys are rearranging things right now within your home. Um, you're doing a little bit of changes. Um, it's like you're trying to put all your things together and get them organized. You're organizing right now. Um, Alright, so right now, I feel like right now you have these choices of things that you got going on, um, but they're, you're supposed to be using your intuition, okay? So whenever you feel like something isn't right, then don't do it. Pay attention to that. Make sure you use your intuition. You have that and just use it. Um, I do see you bearing your fruits of your labor, so something is coming to you that you have been waiting for. All right, so also, um, universe sometimes gives us messages through certain things that we do not pay attention to sometimes, like universe will give you synchronicity. Synchronicity is about um, knowing that you're in the right spot at the right time when you're supposed to be there, so pay attention to that. Synchronicity will show. Um, sometimes whenever you see like numbers that match together, like um, 111 or 1111 and 20, uh, 20 or 22 two or whatever, whenever you see those numbers, this is a sign to me that um, you are, are in the right place at the right time, if that makes sense. Like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Also, these, um, like when you have deja vu, to me deja vu is about you're doing what you're supposed to be doing at this time and you are where you're supposed to be. Um, so when you have deja vu, know that, okay? That's synchronicity. That's the universe talking to you, saying, hey, you're doing a great job, okay? Um, all right, I see a new passion coming towards you at this time. You have the ability to manifest too at this time. I see a new way of making money or money coming towards you. Um, I do see manifestation again. So you are manifesting. So when you are thinking about something, make sure it's all positive. Don't think negative. Pay attention to your thoughts. Thoughts are very powerful. I know that a lot of times um, you think different things and they'll be negative, but that's sending negative vibes through you and into the universe. So pay attention to what you think and what you say. Make sure that you stay positive, okay? Um, I do see either, I feel like at this time, you could be teaching somebody something or um, you're learning about something. I feel like teaching though. I feel like you're teaching someone. Um, all right, so I see someone here that is very fiery, very passionate, and I feel like they feel they are, this could be, um, you maybe if you have another sign that's fiery, but I feel like it's like you or this person, it looks like a female, it doesn't have to be, but this person is very, um, it's like, they have a lot of knowledge and they know what they want when they want, but then at the same time right now they are going through something that is creating um, a depression or like they are trapped or tied down to something. It's like they have this fear and um, they're not sure. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you have this this um, feeling like you're trapped or feeling like you have this fear of something. So give me confirmation on that, please. Okay, so, um, <laughs> all right, so either you are having a fear about um, a delay 
or you are having um, and universe is saying be patient it, it, it time is everything time is everything dang so um, you guys got a lot of energy going on right now at this time because on the floor at the door meaning at this moment the energy is right this moment so right now you probably are having this fear of um, you know of, of whatever you you have a fear of something but you need to be patient because it's coming it's coming um, you have the uh, two of Pentacles here meaning you might be struggling with money or creating it's like also two is about balance and it's about unity so right now you're worried about this money probably because this is right under the worry um, the anxiety and the fear um, but I do believe that it will be resolved okay so um, don't be worrying about something that um, you can't change remember that you can't change it no need to worry about it um, because the universe will take care of you and you have to just depend on the universe and know you know that the universe is creating who you are when you do things the time it's all about the planets right and so um, I do see you being presented something and I do see you going on vacation or taking vacation relaxing um, but at the same time, you still have a lot of anxiety, okay? So maybe you're going somewhere and you have a lot of anxiety about it. Um, all right, so that was your general reading for October. Now let's do a love reading for you guys. Love, love. October, my Taurus October love reading. What does my Taurus people need to know about their love life? Is there a new love coming? Do you have a lover? Or do you have more than one lover? I don't know. Just saying that. All right. What does my Taurus need to know? My Taurus people need to know. Lovers. Do we have a love reading for my Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about love? So, I feel like, okay, so one thing is, you guys, you have what you need right now. Um, rather, if you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship, whatever it is, you have what you need right now. And it's like, you feel kind of like you're empty, but um, you're kind of like not paying attention to the blessings that you have. Rather, if you're in a relationship or not. But I do feel like you are having a happy home life right now. And it's like, you have this ability to... Stand on your own. You're very independent. Um, and it's like you, you're you a very strong person. All right. So use your intuition. Your intuition is very important, especially if it's coming to love or relationships. Um, if you are single, um, when you are dating, if you are dating, um, make sure that when you are dating um, that you tell this person exactly what you want, what you expect. Be very picky about it uh, of relationship. Um, I know a lot of times, sometimes people are too picky and that creates a big um, gap <laughs> in their relationships. If you are dating though, I just want you to know, I know your pain, this, this, these uh this time is just horrible to i mean you got the internet to date you have online apps you have apps 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 um i think i've been on most every single app for dating um but it has been a struggle it is a struggle it is a real life struggle to be dating in this time and era it just is but whenever you are dating make sure that you tell the person exactly what you're expecting what you're wanting be very upfront and be very picky um, because some people uh, will take total advantage of you if you are wanting a relationship say hey I want a relationship if you are not wanting a relationship just say hey I'm not really wanting a relationship I'm just wanting a friendship or a companion to talk to or maybe you're just wanting a, a sleep uh, somebody to a fuck buddy I should say um, excuse my language but just saying that could be what you're wanting um, just be very blunt with them and tell them what you're wanting 
um, now I do see you being presented with something. Um, if you are in a relationship, I would say the same thing. Um, if you're in a relationship, make sure you tell your mate what you're really wanting um, and be very precise because sometimes we forget that they are, you know, we kind of get into that revolving. I mean, it's like, no, it's like you, you constantly do the same thing over and over and over again. And so with that, um, it's like repetition. You're going and you're doing the same thing every day, every day, every day. You don't pay attention to your lover. You don't pay attention to other people. Um, you're the person that you love. It's like you're just paying attention to work and the everyday things. Going to pick up the kids for school, going to work, going to, you know, whatever, basketball practice, football practice, whatever. You, you constantly are on a go and not paying attention to your lover. But sometimes um, they are in that too. And so maybe you just need to be very upfront and say, hey, I would like to spend time with you or what have you. Um, but I do see a disagreement here, somebody being very nitpicky. And you got to understand whenever two people um, have an argument, this is because you guys see things in two different ways. One person will, will want um, you to see it in the way that they see it. You will want them to see it the way you see it. And that's why you two people argue or anybody argues because you don't see it the same as the other person. So there's no need to really argue over something that um, is, is, you know, um, whatever, okay, that it's okay but it looks like you are going to win this argument is you're going to come out on top so just make sure that you tell the person you know this is what i want um and this is how i feel and it could just be a disagreement not an argument but i do see that you are winning this 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 um argument um but i also see you guys being very creative and you are being very um like you're creating, you're manifesting, and I do see you guys have the sun sign, and the sun sign is, I mean, the sun um, card is about joy, it's about happiness, it also can be about marriage, it can be a marriage, um, so I do see that. Um, so pay attention to your mate if you are in a relationship. If you are not in a relationship and you're dating, make sure that you tell the person exactly what you're looking for, how you um, feel about it, certain situations, you know, just be very blunt up front and tell them. Um, all right, so that is your love reading for my Taurus for the month of October. All right, so what is it that this is going to be a reading about um, people, the, a person from the other side. If there is a loved one that you have lost, do they have a message for you? What is their message, okay? So what is this message for my Taurus people? Somebody from the other side, what is it that you... Um, need to know from them. If this does not resonate with you, you can go watch your sun, moon, or rising. Spirit reading. What is it that someone from the other side wants to tell my Taurus people? Wow. Okay, so I don't know who this is for. Well, maybe I do know who this is for. Um, but it says you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. Um, all right, so I feel like you feel like... <laughs> It's like you feel like you're doing something that you're um, you're doing because you have to do it, but in all reality, it's going to be good. It's going to come out fabulous. It's going to be a total good new change, new energy brought to you, okay? So whatever this is, it's good for you, okay? Is there any other messages that the other side wants to tell my Taurus people? Man. I feel a lot of heaviness here, okay? All right, I see um, there's something to do with court or documents, um, something legal. Um, somebody's watching you, paying attention to that. Maybe it's them, they're watching you. Um, actually, I would say that they are watching over this situation and they were they are bringing you um, this new energy to you that we just talked about. 
um, and they are watching over you and they are keeping the situation under control. And you have the fruits bearing the fruits of your labor, so it is coming towards you. And then you have the the um, to me this okay. So this is the King of Wands. They are just. But what I got out of this is the fact that this person um, is smiling, watching over you. They're like, okay, I've got control. This is kind of an authority type uh, situation. So it's like they got control over this whatever it is. All right, Taurus, thank you for coming to watch my video. This is your October reading, and I hope to see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, um, whatever, share. But make sure you wear a smile because one smile towards somebody can change a whole entire day for somebody. All right, so you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Deuces.